guys and girls. My name is Miss Philbeck and I am the music teacher at Half Henry Elementary School. And I am so excited to be here with you this week and tell you about my instrument, which is called the French horn. So the French horn, as you can see, is made of metal. Mine is made of a mixture of nickel and brass, which gives it that sort of silver, sort of gold color. So I know a lot of you may think, oh, brass instruments, it's really easy to tell who's in the brass family because they're made of metal. Now, yes, all instruments in the brass family are made of metal, but not all instruments made of metal are in the brass family. For instance, the saxophone, it's even made of brass and it's not in the brass family, it's a woodwind. The flute, it's made of metal, it's in the woodwind. So how do you know if an instrument is in the brass family? There's a super easy, easy clue. If you look at the mouthpiece, this is the mouthpiece of a French horn. I'll bring it right up to you. And you can see it is made of metal. All mouthpieces for the brass family are gonna be made of metal and it's shaped like a funnel. In fact, up there we, are. we can even see through it. That's where the air is gonna go right through. Your lips are gonna vibrate or shake just like a rubber band does. And that shaking of your lips with the air going through this mouthpiece funnel is what makes the different sounds in your instrument. Now, I also happen to have a trumpet at my house and you can see the mouthpieces look different, but they are still funnel shaped. So that is how, my friends, you can tell if an instrument is a part of the brass family. Now, the French horn is a pretty special instrument in the brass family. It can play the highest to among the lowest of instruments. In fact, it can play as high as a trumpet. It can play even lower than a trombone. It has the greatest range from high to low of any instrument that you're going to have in the band. And part of that is due to all these different tubes that we call slides on the instrument. So the French horn has tons of slides and they all come around and out the end of the instrument. This is what we call the bell and you can see the bell has a big opening at the end where you put your hand. If you do some fancy stuff with your hand as you get older, but right now me and you, we're just gonna say stick our hand in there. So the slides, all help you play different notes on your French horn. And you can see there are three different valve keys that I push down. And when I push one of these, it lets the sound go down through this slide and back up and out the rest of the tubing and out the bell. So if I were to play an open note, I'm gonna play an open G, and then push down the first valve, it'll play an F and you can hear the sound go through that valve and right back out. But if I take out the first valve, suddenly, or first slide, when I press that valve, this air is gonna come through this tube right here and have no way to get back in. Now you might see this other slide right back here. And that's one of the things that makes my French horn unique. I have, um, it's called a Holton Farkas 179, and it's a double French horn, which means it has not only a front set of tubes for these valves, but it has a back set of tubes that's used by a fourth valve right here that you play with your thumb. So although my first valve is out, if I play my thumb in the first valve, it's going to go through this back set of tubing and you'll still hear some sounds. But you might have noticed it sounded the same. That's because when we use this trigger, it changes the high and low of our instrument. So you might see French horns, especially if you play in the middle school, your French horn is probably just gonna have one set of tubing and three valves. But as you get in high school and if you play in college, that's when you'll pick up this fourth valve and the second set of uh, tubing. 
as you can see right back here. Now you might have noticed I slid that tube back in and French horn players are all the time, you'll see them adjusting their tubes and their, or the length of their slide and that makes the note higher or lower to match the rest of the instruments in the orchestra. So we just barely mentioned that I move the keys that turn a vowel. Now most brass instruments, I think the trombone off the top of my head is the only one that doesn't have a valve, and it can have a valve um, when you get a little bit older, but valves basically turn, they have holes in them, and they let the air move through. So the easiest way to see that is actually on a trumpet, and you can see if I move the valve up and down, I'm gonna take this one out, what's happening is there's holes in here. And when you move it down, it's going to line those holes up with where the air is going through. So here it won't go through. Oh, now it's going to go through because I pushed it down. Now the trumpet is a rotary valve. I'm um, excuse me, the trumpet is a piston valve. It's going straight up and down. Whereas the French horn is different a little bit. It's a rotary valve. So it's going to go in a circle. And if I take off my valve cap right here. We can probably see that valve moving just a little bit. Let me take my mouthpiece out. I don't want it to fall and get dented. So this is the rotary valve. And if I move this first valve, you're gonna be able to see just the very inside, this very, very inside bit. It's gonna move or rotate. There it goes. So now it would let sound come through that slide of tubing and change the note for us. Now, the French horn, when the air goes through the valve, because it's a rotary, they actually have strings on the back and the strings open and close the valve. And it's a little bit hard to see. It may take me just a minute to get in here and get adjusted. But I have, oh, there's one, here it is. You can see this little black string. And this little black string is through this screw and it goes over to this one. And when we push this valve down, this string will pull the valve up. So there you go, you can see the string moving. Now string, just like on a French horn, just like on anything else, will break. In fact, look what's happened here. My third valve, when I went to play today, the third valve string had snapped. So when I go to push the third valve, this is not going to move. Very sad. In fact, my arm is just gonna come down here and hit this slide, that valve won't open. That means all of my third valve songs, uh, anything with it would not play today. It's not a big deal. I'll just have to order some more French horn string and tie it back on there. Um, it happens, gosh, I don't know, according to how much you play, if you play a lot in college, you might wear through a string in a year. Most high school players will never wear through a string. But since I can't play in my third valve and that affects a lot of songs, I have found a really awesome group on YouTube and they're gonna play some of the most famous instrument, uh, French horn melodies that you hear because I've gotta tell you, French horn is the bomb, it is the powerhouse boss of the orchestra and if you play when you get older in high school if you play in college you get to play all the really awesome music because they like to write it for french horn so i'm going to share my screen over from youtube so that way you don't have to follow a link and i've got to yep share my sound watch these gentlemen and see how many of these songs you've heard
So that was a great example of some of the most common tunes or melodies that you hear for the French horn. And just like the past few weeks, Miss Maxa and Miss Grissom and I would love, and Miss Bogerman would love for you to draw us a picture of a French horn and label the parts. A reminder, brass instruments always have a funnel shaped or cup shaped metal mouthpiece. They have lots of tubing. They have a bell and they have slides and some, especially a French horn, have valves. So I hope you've learned a little something and are staying safe. We look forward to seeing you and an activity next week. Thanks. <laughs>